guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a wonderful week full of love, laughter, and just good old sarcasm because we need that in the world. It's me, Zyel, and I have my little friend Jedi here accompanying me in what I like to call a room I hardly visit, the kitchen. In today's video, guys, I'm going to cook for you. I'm going to make an appetizer, main course, and dessert, and hopefully you guys will love it. So stick around, watch me cook, and not burn down the house. If you're new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, the little bell for notifications, and after I'm done, if you love what you see, give me that thumbs up, all right? Not just helping me, you're helping me buy more outfits for her. All right, guys, let's get to it, okay? we're gonna start with the appetizer it is my version of gazpacho now personally you can make gazpacho a lot of different ways some people add you know a certain amount of ingredients some people from Puerto Rico also add something we call bacalao which is cod or pollock fish I particularly don't add this to my recipe because it has a lot of like tiny little bones and you know when I eat I don't like the feeling of it and I just don't like the codfish so um, what you're gonna need is a, an onion, obviously. Glasses or sunglasses, because when you peel onions, you start to cry, so you know. Tomato, you can put as much tomato as you like. Personally, I go halfway and then I stop. And one full avocado, any kind of avocado that you prefer or wherever is around your area. And we're gonna chop these up. But before I start cooking, my one major rule about me doing anything in the kitchen is that I need to put my hair up. So come right back guys, I'm gonna put my hair up and I'm gonna start chopping, okay? So I'll be right back. So I'm chopping the tomato first because I feel it's probably gonna take the longest. Again, you can use as much tomato as you want in your gazpacho. You make it any way you want, any way you see fit. I'm just making it the quick way because sometimes you get hungry and there's nothing that you really wanna take time cooking. This is quick, simple, very filling. You can eat it with anything. And it's going to take forever to chop all these up the way that I want them. All nice little squares. So I'm going to fast forward this for you guys. This is really going to take forever you watching me chop each ingredient. So I'm going to be right back, okay? Now I'm going to chop the onion. And it's a good thing I'm wearing my glasses because every time I chop onions, I start crying. Not because I feel bad for the onion. Feel good this time. Okay, let's see. This is also probably gonna take a little while, guys. Again, you can use as much onion as you like. Personally, I do like onion a lot. M hates onions, which is why he doesn't eat my gazpacho. Sorry, babe. I like the onion, and this is gonna take a while, so I'll tell you what, guys, I'm gonna keep chopping here, and I'm going to, again, snap my fingers, and it's gonna be chopped. Okay, guys, last ingredient for my gazpacho is a lovely avocado. Let's make sure you don't drop it because I think I've dropped this one like twice already and I keep playing with it. So you guys can use any type of avocado that you like. And this is probably the third take that I'm gonna do of this because I keep saying avocado wrong, but it's okay, we're gonna keep going. So I have this avocado and it's, I like it. It is between a little hard and a little soft because my tastes are kind of particular. Again, whatever you guys like, whatever you guys find, it's up to you. So let's see how this avocado is on the inside. Fingers crossed I don't cut my finger off. Okay. So far so good. You guys can hear Jedi in the background. She wants the avocado. But she can't have it. Sorry Jedi. Oh, look at this avocado guys. It's perfect. This is total perfection avocado wise. Ah, on the first try. Usually it takes me like 20 times just to get the seed out of the avocado. Now we got a little napkin here. Always have napkins close. Me, I always have to have like three rolls when I cook because I always make a big mess. Okay, I'm going to peel my avocado. And this is probably also going to take a little bit because I am very meticulous. Make sure that I don't break my avocado so I can slice it nice and straight. And my OCD is going to take over in just a moment. So I'm gonna chop this up and then show you guys 
basically what I do. So come right back, okay? All right, guys, all my ingredients are nice and chopped. So now we're gonna put them all together in the bowl. We're gonna do a little mix up here, okay? Hopefully I don't drop anything. I have a tendency to drop things, as you guys have seen from my other videos. Okay, put them all together in a lovely bowl. Oh my goodness, it just smells so good already. Okay, give them a little stir to however you wanna see that it looks. Look at that, look at that guys. Oh, that looks so good, I'm so hungry. Okay, now, some people will think that this tastes a little bland, so if that does happen to occur, you know, it'll give it a little taste and it doesn't like, oh, it's not up to my taste. Me, I put some salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt. That was not a little bit of salt, but when you mix it, it kind of like blends in and sometimes you have to put just a little much so it can even out when you're mixing it. That look at that, it looks so yummy. Oh. Now, remember, guys, when you're making this so simple, you can eat it with party chips, you can eat it with anything. Me being the natural born Puerto Rican that I am, we tend to eat it with bread, pan de agua, pan sobao, whatever bread that you guys want to have. Okay, so also. When you finish mixing it and you do your little taste test, because that's what I'm going to do right now, I'm a little taste test. Mmm, oh my goodness. Oh, I wish you guys could taste this. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a little while. I like it to get a loose, little bit cold. And then this is going to be our appetizer for our dinner. So remember guys, you can eat it with anything. It's quick, simple, very filling. You can use it for parties. You can use it when you're having your movie nights, your at-home nights, whatever you guys are doing. My version of my gazpacho. Pretty simple, guys, okay? So we're gonna come right back because we're gonna keep going. Now we're gonna go into our main course, which is our meatloaf, my style of meatloaf, okay? So don't turn off your computer, come right back, okay? Welcome back, guys. Okay, now we're heading into the main course. I am going to make for you guys my specialty, cheese-stuffed bacon-wrapped meatloaf, Puerto Rican style. <laughs> you guys are going to love it. Okay, so here are the ingredients that we need for this lovely meatloaf. Obviously, you're going to need about a pound of ground beef, whichever brand suits you, okay? Um, green pepper, I'm going to chop it up. Again, the onion. I should definitely get some sunglasses because I don't want to keep crying like I did last time. Obviously the bacon. I love the bacon. I have my baby bath cheese that I'm going to use to stuff my meatloaf. I love this cheese because to me this cheese is the meltiest cheese that I could find. I mean, I love this cheese. Okay. Next also a little bit of salt. We have our seasoning, our sazon. I cannot live without this. No Puerto Rican can live without this. All right, and of course we have what I like to call my best friend in the kitchen, adobo. Ladies and gentlemen, adobo, adobo, the public. Guys, if you guys can find this in your grocery store, season everything with this. You will love it, I promise you. Anything and everything. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna chop up my green pepper, then I'm gonna chop up my onion, and then we're gonna get started in constructing our meatloaf, okay? So why don't you guys stick around, be right back, and I'm going to be back in half a second. Everything's chopped up, so I'm gonna put in my green, I put in the onions, now I'm putting in the green peppers. Okay, put that to the side. And again, here's that best friend I told you about, the seasoning adobo. Okay, put it to your liking. I need a lot, because Sometimes when it's cooking, it absorbs so much of the adobo and then it'll taste a little bland, so you just wanna pound that in there, okay? And of course, my other friend here, sazon. Oh, goodness, that smells wonderful. I give you guys a whiff, but I know you can't smell it. I go overboard because I know that Half the seasoning is going to go when it's actually in the oven. And of course, here comes the 
kind of icky part, put the egg in. Okay, that's just gonna make sure that all the ingredients stay together. And for this next part, you guys wanna make sure that your hands are clean. And I did wash my hands, don't worry. You're basically gonna play around like Play-Doh. You're just gonna mush everything together. Okay, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's like I said, the icky part. <laughs> But it's okay because in the end it's just gonna be so yummy guys so I'm gonna mush this together and then I'll be right back okay all right guys everything mixed in the bowl now it's time to put our meatloaf together I'm a little weird it's gonna seem a little weird because I have to you know stuff it with the baby jet bell cheese and then wrap it in bacon so stick with me guys so because I'm about to dump the meat onto this I can actually get the meat out of the bowl <laughs> There it is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shape it. Don't worry guys, I wash my hands again. Okay, shape it, shape it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look so yummy, guys? Well, not uncooked, but I mean, what it's gonna become when it's finally cooked. All right, let's get that in there. Okay. okay. I feel like an artist. I'm making a Mona Lisa here. All right, okay, so baby bow cheese. Start to kind of dig in to where you want it. Kind of like just stuff it in there, okay? And then basically push and cover it again. As much meat as possible so that when it cooks, it doesn't leak out and all the cheese is gone. Okay, next one, same thing. Stuff it on in there. Okay. I mean, there's different ways you guys can do this. This is just my way of doing it. I'm not saying that my way is the correct way. This is just the way I do it. So hopefully you guys will find your own niche in the kitchen. Niche, niche. How do you say that word? Oh, yeah. Tell me in the comments, guys. How do you say that word? How do you pronounce it? Okay. Next baby bow cheese is in there. Again, keep shaping it. Make sure none of the cheese leaks out. I'm probably gonna end up reshaping this a couple times, guys. Here's another one. Okay, let's see. I peeled a couple because sometimes after I cover it in bacon and after it's already cooked, I like putting more melted baby bow cheese on top of it with a little pizza sauce. Wow, makes all the difference, guys. And then one more here on the end. Oh, come on, get in there, right there. Come on, baby bell cheese, don't fail me now. Again, guys, you guys can use any type of cheese that you want. I'm not promoting any brands, any particular brands. I am not, you know, sponsoring any particular brands, so just to let you guys know. This is just the stuff that I like. Okay, I think. We are good to start wrapping this baby in bacon. All right, make sure everything's nice and covered, shaped. Ooh, looks so yummy. All right, you guys give me a few moments because I need to get that bacon out of its casing, okay? So I'll be right back. I don't think I can snap, but I'm gonna try. All right, guys, meatloaf is covered in bacon. We put it in the pan. And now it's gonna go in the oven right here, 350 degrees for 45 to 60 minutes, depending on the strength of your oven. I'm gonna check it every uh, 45 minutes, and if it's still not cooked, I give it an extra 20 minutes, okay? So it's gonna go in the oven, and then I'll show you the end product. Okay guys, we're back. Meat looks in the oven, so I thought I would get started with the dessert. For dessert, guys, we are making quesitos. It is a Puerto Rican dessert made from pastry shells and cream cheese. So, this is what you guys are gonna need. Go to your local grocers, get some pastry shells, okay, as so that I have right here. Um, you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese, any brand that you so choose, not promoting any specific brand, okay? You're going to need some vanilla uh, extract, imitation's fine, or the real thing is also fine. You're going to need some dark corn syrup, Again, I am not going after any brands. I'm not sponsoring any brands. Whichever one you like or you find that you want to use, that's fine. 
Um, one beaten egg for the egg wash. Some sugar, regular granulated sugar, okay? And of course, the pastry shells. So let's get to mixing the cream cheese. So you're gonna take the cream cheese. You are going to add one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Okay. I've made this so many times. Sometimes I add a little bit more than I should. It's my taste. So that's there. Okay, let me cover that so I don't knock it over and spill it. That's one thing that could actually happen. Then we can take, I take a regular spoon and, a, and I just measure out three tablespoons of granulated sugar. That's one, two, three. Again, I've made this so many times, I just do it by eye check. <laughs> and then you're going to mix. Okay. All right. So when you mix it, the consistency should be a whip consistency, guys. So I'm going to... I'm gonna whip this up and then I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to look like in about a couple minutes, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I have just mixed up my cream cheese, vanilla extract, and the three tablespoons of sugar. It should basically, after you're done mixing, look like this, nice and whipped. Let me get a little closer look right there. Also, I mean, I do this by hand. A little, I call mollero power. To get it going, you can use a mixer, a hand mixer. I like going old school. Okay. Now, I'm going to give a little taste test. Just a little stick on my finger. That was too much. A little taste test. Mm. Okay. So you should really taste the sweetness. Sweetness can be to your liking. And you should also taste that vanilla extract, but it shouldn't overpower the cream cheese. It should be a nice, harmonious blend of all three ingredients. Okay. All right. Now that my cream cheese is all set, I'm going to put that to the side right here. And I'm gonna get to preparing my pastry shells, okay? So I'm going to cut up the pastry shells into little squares. That's my trusty knife. So these shells are pretty easy because they already have kind of lines because they come folded, so it's pretty easy, they're pretty easy to cut. Okay, that one side, that second side. And then you cut them to whatever size that you want across. So you should all end up with little squares. Usually you should have about nine squares for each sheet. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna finish cutting these up. So then you can see how I apply the cream cheese and I'll be right back with you guys, okay? Okay guys, so I cut up all my pastry shells into little squares. As you can see, I can't cut that well. So uneven squares, however you guys want, whatever size you guys want. I personally like to make the mini quesitos because you can make a lot more and they can last you for like a week maybe unless you have a sweet tooth like M and you'll eat them in three days. Sorry M. All right, so you take your cream cheese like so and then you put it within the pastry shell. I mean, you guys can hear a dog barking. That's Jedi. She's barking out the window, but that's okay. We're gonna keep going. She's a dog, that's what she does. All right. So you have your cream cheese in your shell. You can put as much cream cheese as you want or as little cream cheese as you want, depending on what you like. And we're just going to basically fold, take a little bit of the egg wash, put it in a little corner, grab it, stretch a little bit, and seal it. Okay, it's gonna look like a little cannoli. All right, take some more cream cheese, go to the next pastry shell. This one's a little smaller, so I don't have to put as much cream cheese in this one. Uh, maybe a little, a dab more here. As you know, this cream cheese is fabulous. Again, we're going to fold it within itself, like so. Dab the egg and around and seal it. Now, don't be surprised if it's sometimes while you're baking it, it opens up. That's okay. No worries. It happens. You could just keep it going. Okay, one more. And then I'm gonna do all of them so you guys can see them on the pan. Cream cheese, again, to your liking. This cream cheese should be enough for, the, for both of the pastry shell sheets. Okay? All right. Okay. 
right, and then we're going to seal this side. A little bit of the egg wash on that corner. Lift, pull, and tuck, and they should look like this. So now I'm gonna pass them over to the pan. I'm gonna finish all these up so you guys can see them all in the pan, and we'll be right back. Okay guys, as you can see, all my quesitos are ready to be placed in the oven. Now we're gonna do the egg wash. <clears throat> we're just gonna lightly, a little egg on top, just like that. <clears throat> okay, like so, on all of them, really quickly. I know you guys are dying to see the finished product. I am dying to eat the finished product, and the meatloaf smells wonderful. <clears throat> okay, once the egg wash is completed, you're gonna take some of the granulated sugar that I had like here, and then you're going to, this is gonna help it caramelize. You're gonna need them a little caramelized, okay? A little bit of sugar, okay, like so. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. A little bit more right here. And then you're going to place these in the oven about 12 to 15 minutes or until they rise and are kind of like a little golden, light golden brown, okay? So I'm going to pop these in the oven and then I'm going to show you the finished product, all right guys? And then you're going to love them. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, here are the quesitos out of the oven. Don't they look just delicious? Aren't you just dying to try one? Not yet. Uh-uh. One final step, guys. The glaze. So here we use, again, the dark corn syrup. Have it here on my plate. And we're just going to glaze them. Okay? As much as you want. Basically, just lightly glaze. You're going to get your fingers sticky. Okay? A little glaze here. This is why I do it on the aluminum foil as to not make a mess. Because again, I tend to make a mess a lot. Maybe this is why M cooks more than I do. I'm better with desserts. A lot better with desserts, guys. And we're gonna glaze them all. <laughs> you guys can hear the little uh, running around of little feet. That would be Jedi. She's running around the kitchen trying to get a bite out of everything. Not happening. So again, we glaze them as much as you want, guys, as much as you want. Depends on your appetite. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Okay, last couple here. I'm gonna glaze all of them. Look at that. Oh, it looks just wonderful. Scrumptious. Oh, look at this. Glaze. Oh, you gotta love it, all right. Okay, I'm gonna finish glazing the other ones and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put them in a plate and then show them to you again, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay guys, here are the quesitos all nice and finished. Look at that. Oh my God, they smell so wonderful. Oh, oh I wanna eat them, but I'm waiting for dinner. Hmm. Okay, um, hey Em, sweetie, can you come taste the quesitos? Make sure they came out okay? Hi babe. Okay, taste. They good? Just good. Babe! Babe, we haven't had dinner! Get back here! Babe, seriously, M, come back here. Sorry guys, I had to go wrestle these away from M. He gets a little too excited when I make quesitos. It's like his favorite dessert. So here are the quesitos, and now we're gonna wait. The meatloaf is almost complete, and then we're gonna show you our spread. All right, guys, so I'm gonna see you in a little bit. Don't go away now. All right, guys, here it is. My cheese stuffed bacon wrap meatloaf. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? It smells amazing, oh, I'm so hungry. I mean, what I did notice is as it was baking, I guess I didn't put the cheese in deep enough and it started to bubble out of it. So in a couple of moments, I'm going to slice through the meatloaf to see if there's any cheese left in it. I mean, you can see some cheese here and some cheese here, that's okay, as long as there's cheese. Jedi is smelling the 
You, you hear her, right? She is smelling the meatloaf and she wants some. No, sweetie, I'm sorry, you can't have any. <laughs> she just looked at me like she hates me. All right, so do you guys wanna find out if it still has any cheese in the middle? I kinda do. So I'm going to slice it and find out. Okay, so just give me one second, I'm gonna slice and come back. Guys, check out the cheese. I hear there's still cheese in it, look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, no, seriously guys, we are need to get down to eating. So we are gonna slice these up, put it on our plates, and I'm gonna show you the finished product with everything on our plates. All right guys, be right back. Hey guys, here it is, the finished product. Here we have our dessert, the quesitos, ready to be eaten. Here we have our meatloaf. I paired it with a baked potato. You guys can pair it with whatever you like. Today I decided to go with baked potato. And then my gazpacho, I decided to use it as my little side salad. Now comes the fun part, tasting it. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. Okay, oh. Oh, the cheese. Oh my goodness, the cheese. All right, guys, here we go. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so juicy. The seasoning is all on point. The cheese, the bacon. Oh, I don't normally cook because I, I never feel like I can cook. But when I do, nailed it. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait. The gazpacho. Mm, oh God, hello, Mr. Potato. This is so yummy, guys. Mm. All right. Well, guys, this has turned out fabulous. I hope that you guys are able to try the recipe out. Remember, if you do try it out, please let me know down in the comments what you thought about the video, what you thought about trying the recipe. Let me know, okay? And always remember, from my heart to yours, put some love out in the universe. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye. Remember guys, if you are new to the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button. Bell for notification. What I get this out already. Guys, so I'm gonna snap my fingers. I'm gonna get this all chopped up. And I just had a blooper. Hey! <laughs> Next ingredient, the avocado. Again, use whichever avocado you happen, happen to. <laughs> I forgot how to. This is the fun part. Washing dishes? No, this should be your job. I cook. You should wash the dishes. No, I'm washing the dishes. So it's not the fun part. <laughs>